here. I'm so sorry I just said that, but I feel like I should. Just watch this right now. Watch the waves. Hi guys, so welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Sydney and my content is all about lifestyle, surfing, and fitness. So, I woke up at 5, went back to bed until 5.48, put on this set from Gymshark, and got my little booty to the gym. I've been in a little bit of a gym rut lately, and you know what? We're giving myself grace because itty witty. And you know what? That's where motivation and discipline come in, and I know everyone's saying this right now, but honestly, like, if you think about it, it's so true. Like, my motivation depends on how many new workout sets I have. Just kidding, but, like, that's somewhat true. Anyway, I just didn't want to go to the gym, and I was so busy, and I've been putting pretty much everyone and everything else like above what i want to do and i'm just being very honest with you right now and so i haven't wanted to you know on my downtime i just want to like watch tiktok or catch up on vlogs because i was waking up at like 6 30 and working and then i would just work all day and that's so unhealthy for your mental and spiritual health and so i was like i need to break this toxic cycle this self-sabotaging cycle of like productivity you know like yes i was being productive but that sounds like recipe for burnout and i can't afford to be burnt out so Anyway, your girl's taking back control of her life. Okay, so fun fact, I like to make my own salad dressing, and if you watched my last vlog, you would know that. Basically, it's just olive oil, Italian seasoning, pepper, um, a whole lemon, a little bit of water, a little bit of Dijon, and you, wow, it's not frozen. Last time it was frozen. Anyway, we're going to make a fruit, a fruit lettuce salad, I'm thinking. Typical night in um, our household. Newborn. Nicholas got two new boards and he's putting. Actually, one's for Lou. Oh, just kidding. One's for his brother. And one's his. And he's putting a traction pad on it. And, um,. Yeah, just inspected them out. It's 
spicy mayo, check, soy sauce, double check. Hey guys, so it is day two of this vlog. I think most of the time I'm just gonna end up extending the vlogs because I don't get enough footage in one day. But basically we're getting my hair done today. I'm getting dark balayage into icy blonde and let's go. What I eat in a day has now turned into a productive day with me. And basically I am helping one of my clients produce a video and so i have my yeti mic here and then i have like a little adapter piece in case we need it i don't think we're using the ipad but yeah and then after we get that done we are going to a co-working space and going to work for a little bit and i think i'll give you guys a tour of the co-working space because it is so cool and where i live like it's a very small town and so i was shook that there was even a co-working space so yeah let's get ready to go do a little job and i did my makeup today i don't know what i'm gonna wear yet but We'll figure that out. I have my lemon water and some vitamin D and some other stuff. So, technically speaking, janky. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. There we go. All right, guys. So, this is the co working space that I was telling you about earlier in this video. As you walk in, you are greeted by Carolina, who is the lovely receptionist in this co working space. And as you make your way down the hallway, there's a large conference room that you can actually rent out, which is pretty cool. And to the left, there's a small meeting slash podcast room. And straight ahead, there is a really big Big room where you can meet up and down this hall they have a full-size kitchen with a refrigerator and a cappuccino latte and espresso machine which in my opinion is pretty cool there's actually two fridges in here i forgot to mention that and all the doors that you see shut are actually rented out spaces. So the benefit of being in a co-working space is that you don't have a huge responsibility in rent. And most of these, I think, are $300 for the month. But I could be wrong. I'll be leaving their website down below. But they also have these offices, which are honestly quite spacious, and you can rent out for $30 a day, which to me it seems like quite the deal. There are a lot of these cheaper office rental options. And as you go down the hallway, there are even more offices. And over here coming up is the big co-working space where you can find other business owners working and networking. One of the many benefits of being in a space like this is you honestly don't know who you're going to meet. So the opportunities are really endless if you think about it. And something that I thought was so cool is that they have the TikTok work bicycle. All right, so I worked for a little while in the co-working space and after that, some of my marketing girlfriends came over and we all just kind of hung out, had some white claws and caught up on our week. 